Donald Trump is officially the first former president to ever stand trial on criminal charges. Today is day two of jury selection. More than half of the nearly 100 potential jurors were sent home on the first day of the trial after saying they couldn't be impartial to sit in judgment of the former president. Now joining us from the Manhattan Courthouse is ABC senior investigative correspondent Aaron Katursky and from D.C. senior congressional correspondent Rachel Scott. Thank you both for being with us. Aaron, let's start with you. So with jury selection now underway. I'm just curious, what's it like in the courtroom? It's a bit tense. It's also a bit awkward, I think, for some of the potential jurors who are sort of standing up, craning their neck to get a look at who was seated at the defense table. One woman put her hand over her mouth and appeared to giggle, her eyebrows raised in recognition of who the defendant in the case is. Uh, and, and nobody in that room doesn't recognize Donald Trump, but the judge told them they have to be fair and impartial, and half the hands of the room went up when he asked if they couldn't be. So they were immediately excused. Uh, and today, on the second day of jury selection, the individuals who, who signaled they could be fair and impartial are going to be questioned one-on-one -on -one, uh, by the attorneys. Each side gets 10 strikes for any reason at all, pretty much. Uh, and eventually, the goal is to get 12 jurors and six alternates to, to sit in judgment of the former president. So, Rachel, what's been the reaction inside the Trump camp? Yeah, well, Trump's campaign is irritated. Uh, we are told that the former president was anxious about this trial starting. We know the former president is irritated about his first criminal trial. But look, we have never seen anything like this before. The presumptive Republican nominee who is also now a criminal defendant. We are six months out from the general election and Donald Trump is now spending most of his time not on, on the campaign trail in these critical battleground states, but inside of a courtroom. This is striking. It is unprecedented. And we know as much as the former president is trying to use this to play to his political advantage, we know he certainly does not want to be inside of this courtroom. Aaron, prosecutors say Trump violated a gag order against attacking witnesses by going after Stormy Daniels and Michael Cohen in three social media posts. Trump's legal team argues he was responding to attacks from them. How is this judge likely to respond to all of this? The judge has been pretty clear about what the former president is allowed to say and what he's not allowed to say. These social media posts, prosecutors say, are out of bounds, and they're asking Trump to be fined $3,000. The judge is going to hold a hearing about this because prosecutors are now challenging the defense to tell them why Trump shouldn't be held in contempt. The judge may want to set an early tone since uh, the case has not yet even started with the testimony. All right, Rachel, let's take a look at some numbers if we can. A recent New York Times Siena College poll found that 54% of registered voters believe Donald Trump has committed serious federal crimes. However, only 26% say they are paying a lot of attention to the former president's mm -hmm. legal trouble. So how large of an impact do you expect this trial to have on Trump, especially in an upcoming election here? You said it's six months mm -hmm. out. Yeah, you know, look, one thing that we know for certain is that a possible conviction could really change the dynamics in this race for the White House. The Republican Party has largely rallied behind the former president, his plan to sort of take over the RNC now in full effect. We know that leaders have lined up one by one in support of Donald Trump. And when we look at polls and we sort of dig through these cross tabs, what we see is that things do start to change if the former president is possibly convicted of a crime. According to a latest Ipsos poll, 13% of Donald Trump's own supporters say they would not support him if he were to be convicted of a crime. And 24% of Republicans as a whole say they will not support the former president if he were to be convicted of a crime. And so maybe while Americans aren't necessarily paying attention to what's going on day in and day out inside of that Manhattan courthouse, one thing is clear, they will be paying attention to a possible conviction. And again, that could have huge implications for the former president ahead of November. Again, ABC senior congressional correspondent Rachel Scott and Aaron Katursky, our investigative reporter there. Thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.